This lab is data rack wiring. So what I'm going to do in this lab is uh, show you how to do wiring from the host right through to the data center rack and also the interconnections within the data rack itself. What I have here is a list of steps and I'm going to include this uh, lab that's available for you to download. You can practice doing the cabling yourself. So what I'll do is I'll select physical and this is a home city. So I want to select that. Now I've got the corporate office and I've got the uh, corporate office layout. So I'm gonna select that. And here, this is the wiring closet right here. So what I wanna do is start populating some hosts uh, within the uh, floor plan itself. So I'll just go to select hosts here, PC, there's one, PC and there's a second one. I'll put some over in this room here. So there's four altogether. Now I'll select cabling and I'll select structured cabling. Then I want to select these copper wall mounts here. So I'll put one there and one there. Now I'll use the cabling to uh, connect the host with the copper straight through cabling. So I'll select the uh, interface on the host. Here I'll select jack one. And this is basically a patch cable from your host to the cubicle uh, wall jack. Select the other one, and this time I'll select jack two. And I'll do the same thing for the other host here. So I'll select jack one there. And I'll select jack two here. So that looks fine there so far. I'll select the wiring closet. Right here, I want to select uh, create a new rack. So there it is there. And now I'm going to populate the rack with some uh, devices. So we'll go over to network devices here. And I'll start with layer two switch. So I'll just select 2960. The ladder power distribution uh, strip automatically. That's what this top one is. It's just for the power from the rack to the uh, network devices. So there it is there. Power distribution and there's the first switch. I'll just move this down a little right there. Now we'll select a layer three switch. And there's, there's the multi-layer switch or layer three switch. and also a router. What I'm gonna do is I need a patch panel as well. So we'll go back to the uh, cabling, structured cabling. And I want a copper patch panel. I'm gonna put that right there at the top. It's usually the best place for it. Well, it looks pretty good so far. So I've got the power distribution strip, copper patch panel, got the switch, multi-layer switch, and router. Layer two switch connects to multi-layer switch, and the multi-layer switch will uh, connect to the router. Now we'll go uh, back one level, and I want to connect from the uh, wall mounts to the patch panel. We'll select cabling again and copper straight through. Anytime you connect dissimilar devices, like a host to a switch or a switch to a router using a straight through cable. Anytime you connect same devices like switch to switch or router to router, you have to use a crossover cable. That applies to ethernet cabling, not fiber. So I'm gonna select the wall mount here and punch down one. I'll connect the uh, rack and patch panel Punch down one. So that's straight through to the uh, data rack. 
and also select another one, another cable. Now punch down to connect to the wiring rack, patch panel, punch down to. Now we'll go over to the other uh, hose, do the same thing. Punch down one, we'll go to the rack, and that'll be punch down three. So punch down two. This will go to the patch panel, the rack, punch down four. That's done. I'll select the wiring closet again. You see there's uh, what I've just done there. They connect to the patch panel. Now I need to use a patch cable to go from patch panel to layer two switch. So I'm going to select copper straight through right there. What I'll do is just connect the first one, jack one, to switch port. I'll do the same thing for the other ones. I'll select the next one, there's jack two, and I'll go to FA02. Jack 3, FA03. In Jack 4, to FA04. So those are the patch cables. They've been jumpered from the patch panel right to the uh, layer 2 switches. Now those hosts have connectivity right to the switch. You can see the green lights flash in there. So they're active. Now I want to connect the layer 2 switch, or the access switch, to the uh, layer 3 switch, called the multi-layer switch. And I'll connect it to gigs 101. There it goes there. So what I need to do though, to connect to the router with fiber, I need to install a uh, fiber port in the uh, router. I'll click on the router. I'll select GLC, LHSMD, right there. You can see the bottom, that's a fiber port. LXLH is uh, SFP first to uh, fiber. So that's done. The other thing I have to do is install a fiber port in the multi-layer switch. We'll select this one, GLC here, LHSMD. And that should do that. So now what I'm doing, since I've decided I want to use a fiber cable between the multi-layer switch and the router, I do need fiber ports there, so I've installed them in both, the router and the multi-layer switch. Now I'll select fiber cable. And connect from there to there. And that's fiber. So everything is now connected within the rack itself. And that's an example of uh, standard data rack wiring. And that concludes the lab.